Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really super easy and delicious sourdough breakfast pizza. So this is gonna be using my sourdough pizza crust, which if you haven't tried, you really need to because it is ridiculously easy. All it requires is some fed sourdough starter, so you don't have to do much preparing ahead except for to feed your starter the day before, but you don't have to mix up any doughs, let anything rise, it's so simple. So the first step is to get a pizza stone or a cast iron skillet. I've used both with great success in a 425 degree oven. Now you cannot skip this step. This is what makes the sourdough pizza crust work so well. We are now a two or three pizza family, but I'm gonna show you how to make just one today. And then of course you can always double or triple the recipe. My pizza stone here is piping hot, which is what we want. I'm just going to spoon on my fed sourdough starter until I have about a 14 inch round pizza crust. This will take approximately two cups, but as you can see, I do not measure on this. I just start spreading it around, being careful not to completely reveal the bottom of the pan, but getting pretty thin on the insides and then leaving a nice ring around the outside. Now you'll notice that your crust will start cooking right away. It'll almost be cooked whenever you go to pop it back in the oven. We're gonna bake it quite a bit more because I like this to be nice and crispy before doing the next step. Now I might grab just a touch more to make sure I have that nice rim around the outside. You can use your fingers if you need to. That's what I often do. All right, next I'm gonna take two tomatoes and very, very thinly slice them. I like them to basically roast with the pizza and the thinner they are, the better they do that. Okay, next I'm just going to lay my thinly sliced tomatoes out all over the pizza, just in the inside, kind of leaving that outside rim to be the crust. Now these will be hidden under the cheese, so if you're kids are at all squeamish about tomatoes. They really won't notice them. It'll be more like a pizza sauce. My kids definitely aren't huge on tomatoes, but they did not pick it out either. All right, next I'm just gonna drizzle this with about two tablespoons of olive oil. I like to get it all over the crust, on the outside, on the tomatoes. It makes it so good. And then I'm gonna add about a half of a teaspoon of salt just all over the tomatoes and all over the crust. And now I'm just gonna throw this back in the 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. As you'll see, it's already cooking quite a bit, but I want it nice and crispy. All right, now that this is out of the oven, you can see it does not stick. It is a nice crispy crust. You could of course make it a little bit larger, as big as your stone will allow. I'm going to top this with about 12 ounces or a cup and a half of shredded cheese. Now I just have a mixture here of cheddar and mozzarella. I love a sharp cheddar for this that I grated fresh because I like the way on pizzas that freshly grated cheese does a lot better than pre-shredded. All right, next I'm gonna add a little bit of bacon. I cooked up a pound of bacon this morning and I'm just gonna use about a quarter of that pound of bacon crumbled up. Next, I'm just gonna slice up some green onions. I love these on top. I think they taste great. You can, of course, leave them off. I like to do about two green onions thinly sliced. They're pretty, they're tasty. They're my favorite with eggs and just spread them out on the pizza. All right, the final step is going to be to add some eggs. Now I just put these right on top of the pizza. Try to kind of create a little spot for them. That's why I like having that ring around the outside. And then I also, you could kind of move to the side some of the veggies. 
and create a little well for them, but I find that they really don't spread a whole lot. To this size pizza, for our family, I add eight eggs. If you get close to the edge, you could create a little well. Next, I'm just gonna sprinkle this with another half teaspoon of salt, whole teaspoon total on this pizza, and some freshly cracked pepper. And then I'm just gonna throw this back in the 425 degree oven for 10 minutes. Now, if you want the egg yolks to be a little bit runny, I kind of prefer that. The kids, not as much. You're gonna want to do more like eight minutes. That will get the whites nice and cooked through, but leave a little bit of runny for the eggs. Now the 10 minutes doesn't cook them overly hard either. So just keep an eye on them. I will say that when you look in your oven, they look like they're not done, but then if you poke them, they actually are. So I'm gonna pop this one in for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, this smells and looks delicious. This is something my family has been absolutely loving. I learned the first time I made it that I needed to make more than one because it's, although usually this amount of food would be enough when it's in the form of pizza, everybody wants to eat a little bit more. So I guess I can hope that we won't eat as much at lunchtime and I can cook a little less. If you want to save this recipe for later, make sure to head over to the blog, farmhousehomemoon.com. I'll leave the direct link in the description below. You can save this recipe for later on Pinterest and I have a printable recipe card. So if you wanna print it off, store it in a binder or whatever you use to organize your meals, that is available there. Also, if you do try it and love it, make sure to give it a five star rating. I would really appreciate that so much. And I hope that this is a breakfast that you enjoy. It comes together really quickly. It's not something you have to do a whole lot of preparing for because it is a no weight sourdough recipe, just like the pancakes and a few others. But that is unique because most of them you have to prepare a dough the day before. This one isn't that way, so you can enjoy it without waiting. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.